finally got my hands on the new rub air. So let's talk about it and how I plan to use it on my hair growth journey. Jumping right into the unboxing, I was gifted the Rev Air Total Package. It came with this tote bag to store your Rev Air dryer, alligator clips, an accessory bag, a continuous mist spray bottle, a wide tooth comb, a towel, a mesh filter basket, two foam liners for your filter basket, which will help prolong its life. I really love the way the Rev Air Reverse Dryer came packaged. I like that it came with dust covers for the wand and the base, which will definitely come in handy for storage. This is the base. This piece is for holding the wand when in use. This is the wand, and this is the dryer attachment. As you can see, the Rev Air is pretty easy to assemble. Moving into my quick demo, I used the Rev Air on freshly washed and conditioned hair. I detangled and prepped my hair with the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In and the Camera Blow Dry Spray. This is an important factor that we'll be discussing later. Also, I'm keeping the plastic cap on my hair to help preserve the moisture while I blow dry each section. I don't wanna have to keep rewetting my hair and found that this really helps. Okay, so the Rev Air has seven tension settings and three heat options. I opted to use the low heat option and the highest tension, which is seven. This is not my first time using the Rev Air. I actually own the older model, but the Rev Air is easy to use. Simply put your hair in the wand and gently massage the wand at your roots for 60 seconds. This will get your roots straight as well as the length of your hair straight. At least that's what works for my low porosity type 4 hair. After drying this section of my hair, I really noticed that white particles were falling from my hair. That's why I kept breaking through my hair and frowning. I noticed it when I was drying the back of my hair, but I wasn't really worried about it. However, when I got to the front and saw it was a ton of white particles that were falling from my hair, I was livid because I just did the whole nine washing my hair and I also had an appointment to make. I didn't know if the particles were coming from the dryer at this point. Eventually, I figured it out and I'll definitely go into a deeper dive into what happened in the con portion of my video, but just know that these particles were literally everywhere. I was even trying to blow them off the machine. <laughs> it was a complete mess and low-key a consequence of not reading directions. Anyway, this was the finished result. It took about six minutes to do this entire section. Working in small sections will help speed up this process. I divided my hair into four big sections and then split each of those sections into four more sections. I definitely learned a huge lesson about my Rev Air during this blow dry session. Let's dive into this review. I am back, it is the next day. I am so sorry, I had to jet after blow drying my hair and then I braided myself up and put a little clip-ins in and I digress. It's time to talk about the Rev Air and my thoughts on the Rev Air. As you guys know, I received it as a gift. Thank you so much Rev Air for sending me this. I did purchase the original Rev Air a long time ago and I loved it and then I moved to New York and it was just too big to move with me and so it has stayed in the bay and then I reached out to Rev Air and they so graciously sent me the total package and so I get to try the new one. Let's talk about the Rev Air. As I mentioned before, I was gifted the new Rev Air, the total package that came with all the different accessories. I think combined the total set is around I don't know $540 something thereabouts but if you're somebody who's just looking to buy the dryer I believe it retails for $400 which is really pricey I know it sounds insane but I promise you it is worth every single penny first things first let's talk about how it reduces breakage and minimizes heat damage. Like I said, I owned the old Rev Air and I think the Rev Air is just a little bit safer with regards to how much heat, heat I use and then how it stretches my hair without causing damage. And so to give you some insight into that, I realized on my hair journey, my hair thrives when it is in a more stretched state. And in order to get my hair into a more stretched state, I have to use heat. Now, normally when I use heat, I like to use 
blow dryers with comb and brush attachments and I recognize that after each use there is sometimes some breakage because your girl is not using the tension method I don't have enough patience for that and so I recognize that with every wash sometimes I experience some amount of breakage depending on how patient I am now this is where the Rev Air comes in. When I use the Rev Air, not only am I using the tension method, but also the heat that is used within the drying process is less than your traditional blow dryers. And so not only am I able to stretch my hair without having to completely manipulate my hair, but also I'm subjecting my hair to less heat. Love the Rev Air because it enables me to do the tension method without having to actually like manually do the tension method myself. I literally put my hair into the wand, hold it, and it does all the work for me. So that is the first thing I really like about the Rev Air. It's the fact that I'm not manipulating my hair in such a way that it causes breakage, and then the amount of heat that my hair is being subjected to is completely in my control. And so that is the first benefit for me. It's the fact that I can actually retain length. And I know for a fact that now that I'm going to pretty much exclusively be using my Rev Air now that I have the Rev Air again, I know I'm gonna retain length at double the rate that I have been retaining length on this hair journey. Using the Rev Air cuts your drying time down in half. And when I say in half, I'm, I'm, I'm not joking. <laughs> Their instructions say to use it within 30 to 90 seconds, but I found that depending on your settings, like your tension setting and your heat setting, your dry time will vary. So for me personally, I prefer to use it on the highest tension with the low heat setting, and it gets my hair as stretched as I like it in the 90 seconds that they say it will. Now, if I wanna speed up that dry time, which I had to do yesterday because you know, I had a couple of appointments to get to. I ended up switching it to the highest heat and tension on seven and it literally dried my hair in half the time. I noticed that when you use the no heat setting along with the seven tension, it definitely takes a lot longer than 90 seconds to dry your hair and honestly, I don't have time for that so I stick to low heat, high tension to get my desired stretch. On to the cons. Obviously the first one is that the Rev Air is pretty expensive. It normally costs $5.58 for the total package and $4.29 for the Rev Air dryer by itself. For a lot of people, that is a lot of money, especially in this economy. However, I do think this is a great investment if you are serious about retaining length while using heat on a regular basis. With the holiday season fast approaching, there will be a bunch of discounts and deals that you can take advantage of. For example, November 11th through December 4th, there will be a Black Friday sale where you can get the Rev Air for $3.59 or the total package for $3.99. December 5th through January 2nd, you can get the dryer for $3.99 or the total package for $4.69. On top of that, if you use my code, it's Michelle, you can get an additional 10% off of your total purchase. So there are some savings available to help lessen the cost of this dryer. On to the next con. One thing that I did notice this time around when I used the new Rev Air was that when I was using it, I noticed that the leave-in product and the heat protected product that I used on my hair flaked up. Now, never experienced that with my old Rev Air, and I've never experienced that with any of my other drying tools. So I suspect that this happened because I overdid it with my products before using this new Rev Air. And the reason why I suspect that is because when I went back and read the instructions, it said, do not overdo it with your products. And of course, me being me, I overdid it with my products. I did use the It's a Miracle 10 leave-in along with my Kendra blow drying spray. When I say I saturated my hair, I definitely, most definitely saturated my hair only because these days I've just gotten really heavy handed with certain products. So when I started blow drying my hair, I don't know if you saw in some of the clips, I kind of dusted off my shirt because I was like, what is, what's happening? Like, what is the stuff that's coming off of my hair? Only to then realize that it looked like and it smelled like my leave-in. And so the one thing that I'm going to caution you guys on is being normal with the products that you use before using your Rev Air. You don't need to overdo it with your leave-in or your heat protectants. The Rev Air will do what it needs to do for you. Outside of that, comparing my old Rev Air to my new Rev Air, 
This one is definitely smaller, which I am just so grateful for because I live in a smaller place than I did when I was living in the Bay and so I don't have as much storage room. And so the fact that this is smaller means that I can literally store it in my closet, which is where it's gonna live. And so the fact that this rev area does not pose a threat to storage has been wonderful in addition to that it is quieter which is awesome and great because the one before i would not be able to use at nighttime or in late hours as i feel i can with this one especially being in a high-rise unit where noise can be an issue i don't think i'm gonna have an issue with this here at least i haven't received any complaints as of yet Overall, I really don't have anything bad to say about the Rev Air. I really do think it does an excellent job of stretching your hair, blow drying your hair without causing extra damage, without causing heat damage, without causing breakage or any of that stuff. Like I said, had I not been gifted this new Rev Air, I would have just purchased it myself because I did come to the realization that in order for me to hit some of my hair goals by Q1 next year, I would need to reassess some of my hair practices. And now that we have the new Rev Air in our life, I feel more confident about being able to hit those goals even before the end of Q1 next year. But yeah, what are your thoughts? This is a community that helps one another. I really would love for anyone who has used the Rev Air to share their insights on the product or concerns that they have had using their products so that people can make informed decisions before purchasing. Like I said, it's an investment. It truly is an investment, but I believe it is an investment that's worth spending your funds on, especially if you're somebody like me who has type four combination natural hair and you have really lofty hair goals that you're trying to hit in a short period of time. We are moving into the holiday season. I highly recommend putting the Rev Air on your Christmas list, your wish list, because if you don't wanna buy it, maybe somebody else will buy it for you. You know what I'm saying? Just let your little significant other or your friend or your you know, family members know that you are very serious about this hair journey and that they can help you by investing towards this special tool um, that you can use and potentially even share with other people. And so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Deuces.